Welcome back everyone. We are starting our new series today and it is called Contending for the Faith. Our whole series is on faith and in this we are going to learn about unwavering faith, we're going to learn how to build up our own faith, and we're going to learn how to share it with others. So it's very exciting. We have our first lesson today. So before we get started, let's go ahead and pray. All right. So let's ask God to be with us and let's ask him to help us. All right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being with us. We, we ask for your presence in our homes and in our hearts, and we thank you for it. We love you, and we ask your help in our lesson. We ask your help to help us to understand what it is your word means in our lives. All right, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so first... Before our lesson, we need to understand the Ten Commandments. We're going to go through them really quick, okay? So who remembers the Ten Commandments? Who has ten fingers? Ten Commandments, okay? So let's go through the Ten Commandments. Number one, we're going to put God number one, so that's easy to remember. Number one, put God number one. Number two, we're going to worship God only. He is our one true God. We are going to worship Him. Number three, we are only going to use God's name in a good way with respect. Number four, we are going to remember the Sabbath day. That's the holy day. So we're going to remember the holy day. Number five, respect your parents. This is a good reminder. Every single day, respect your parents. Honor them. All right. Number six, don't hurt other people. Number seven, be faithful in marriage. That one's going to come up today. Okay, number eight, do not steal. Number nine, do not lie. Number 10, do not be envious of others. Okay, so basic 10 commandments. These were the 10 commandments that God gave to Moses and to give to the people as the very basic 10 rules to live by and to build from. Very basic, but they are as true then for them as they are for us today, okay? So who knows what it's called when you break a commandment, all right? Starts with an S, ends with an N. It is called sin, okay? So when we break a commandment, it is a sin. These are the things that God has called us to honor, to obey, and if we break one of those rules that God has given us, it is a sin. So this is very important in our lesson today. All right, so break a commandment, break one of God's rules, it is a sin. All right, we got that? Okay, so I wanna go ahead and introduce some of the characters in our story. So today, one of our characters is John the Baptist. Now, John the Baptist, let me make sure we can see it. Okay, John the Baptist, no, he didn't sin. He was born into uh, a life for a calling on his life. God had called him even before he was born. He actually, hundreds of years before he was born, his life was going to be something of great importance. It was foretold, it said, that there would be a man calling out from the wilderness. He would be calling people out. He would be telling them to repent of their sins, okay? Now that was this man. So hundreds of years before he was born, it was told that he was going to be born. He was going to live this life and this life would be all for God. And he would be the forerunner for Jesus. He was actually Jesus's cousin. And it was, it was said that he would be calling the people out. And he actually lived in the wilderness and, and some of the things about him we can't forget because they are so interesting. It says that he wore clothes made of camel's hair and that he ate locusts and oh, with honey. And so I can only imagine that those were the things that were surrounded by him. That was his clothing, that was the food that was around him because he lived out in the wilderness. He lived out there and didn't have any distractions. He was just there with God because that was the calling on his life. He was very faithful to his calling. 
Okay, so he called the people out. He called them out of their sin and he called them to repent. So he asked them to repent of their sins and he baptized them in the river. So that was John the Baptist. Now, to continue in our story, we also had two other characters. Now, we had King Herod and Queen Herodias, okay? So, God used John the Baptist as a messenger, as someone to call people out if they were sinning, okay? So, just so happens that King Herod married Queen Herodias, but it wasn't a lawful marriage. Their marriage was a sin because that was actually his brother's wife, his brother Philip's wife first, okay? But they got married anyway, which is a sin. And so God spoke to John the Baptist and he told him, he said, you need to tell King Herod and Queen Herodias about their sin. Maybe they don't know. So he told him, he said, you need to go and tell them. He said that their marriage is a sin. So he talked to the king and he told him, he said, your marriage is a sin. You should not have married your brother's wife. She was already married. He said, that's one of the commandments. So King Herod, he actually liked John the Baptist and he liked all that he was doing. He liked how he was gathering the people in such a good way and people's lives were being uh, changed by, by him. And so he really liked the message that he had. And so he just brushed him off. You know, that's out. You know, that's, he, he said that to me, that's okay. So, but King Herod didn't want to, he didn't want to repent. He didn't want to change his life at all. He wanted to keep being married to Queen Herodias, even though their marriage was a sin. So the queen, although had other plans. She did not like being called a sinner. Call anybody else a sinner. I'm the queen. Don't call me a sinner. Okay. She wanted to tell other people what to do. She wanted to call other people out of their, what they were doing wrong. So she did not let it go like King Herod did. So on a very special event, they were having a party and the queen's daughter she got to ask for anything she wanted. And she asked for John the Baptist's head on a platter. She wanted him to be killed. So he was taken, he was jailed, he was thrown into jail, he was kept there for a while, but ultimately he was killed because the queen did not like being called a sinner by the messenger, John the Baptist. Now, she blamed John, even though it was her own sin. She thought that he should be punished for her own sin, and that's not right. When we sin, we need to be punished. We need to live up to the, the, the punishment that is for our sin, right? If we sin, there is consequences, and those are our consequences. But she didn't think that way because she was the queen. So, uh... So John the Baptist was killed because he was the messenger that brought the king and the queen the news. He to brought them the uh, called them out of their sin, rather. He called them out of their sin, and they didn't like that. So he was killed for it. But John the Baptist was so faithful to God. He was faithful in his entire life. When God called him to meet with the king and queen and tell them about their sin, he did it. His faith was unwavering. He lived his life in such a way it was devoted to God. It was devoted to what God has called him to in his life. And his life was an incredible testimony. And we can learn so much from his life and how he was devoted to God. His faith was unwavering. So that brings me to our Bible verse. Now our Bible verse is from Jude chapter three. And it says, 
we will contend for the faith. Jude chapter 3 says we will contend for the faith. Okay? So we are going to keep the faith. Let's say it this way. Let's keep the faith. We will, we will keep the faith. We will work for the faith. Okay? Just like John the Baptist. He contended for the faith. Even though it caused him harm, it ultimately caused, caused him to, to die. But he kept the faith. He was unwavering in his faith. So Jude chapter 3 says, we will contend for the faith. All right? So let's remember that as our lesson today. We're going to contend for the faith. God has called us to lives of sharing the word of God, of being his messengers and being witnesses to other people. And we want to use our example of John the Baptist as unwavering faith, that we are going to contend for the faith. We are going to fight for the faith. So let's enjoy this wonderful song that we have provided by Sister Jody, And it is all about fighting for the faith. All right. Hope to see you next week.